Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're gonna share with you the power of intermittent fasting, okay? Now, intermittent fasting is a tool. It's not a diet. It doesn't tell you what to eat. It's a pattern of eating, okay? It's, it's a pattern of eating and not eating. You, it's not about cutting calories. It's just changing uh, when you eat and when you don't eat, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about. So why would you wanna do this anyway? Because it is one, if not the most important factors in weight loss, okay? Let's talk about why. Because it triggers two main hormones in your body, the most powerful ones. One is growth hormone, which is anti-aging, and the most powerful fat-burning hormone. There are six fat-burning hormones. Growth hormone is the most powerful fat-burning hormone to uh, protect your muscles, to build lean body mass, and also just to lose actual fat, okay? And then you have insulin. Insulin is also a very powerful hormone in that it actually will help you store fat if you want to gain weight, which you don't want to do that. You want to lose weight. But here's the thing. In the presence of insulin, you cannot lose weight. It's such a dominating hormone, it will block growth hormone. So it's the hormone that makes you fat. It's the hormone that gives you the gut. If you see someone with a fat gut, they have too much insulin. So these are the two powerful hormones that you're gonna influence. Now, let, look, let's look at what's happening. This tool or technique can really heal insulin resistance where you have the pancreas pumping out way more insulin than you need, five to seven times because what happens, when you have too much insulin, the cells start blocking it and then your body doesn't get the return communication. So it's like talking to your child and they have earplugs. You're gonna increase your volume because the person's ignoring you. There's no two-way communication. So if the pancreas doesn't get the feedback that the insulin is connecting, it sends more insulin through the channel. So you have a situation where you have resistance of insulin, it's not working, low insulin in the cell, low glucose, but then you have high amounts of insulin in other places, which is very destructive, causes its prediabetes, creates a lot of problems, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna start where you're at and then graduate this way uh, over time. It's kinda like there's different levels of intermittent fasting from not intermittent fasting to some serious fat burning over here. So let's say you start with five meals a day or six meals, six meals a day. You have breakfast, lunch, snacks. Some people do breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, right? That's a lot of people that do that. The principle um, of intermittent fasting hormonally is that every time you eat, you spike insulin. See, people have thought that only when you eat carbohydrates you spike insulin. No, no, no. Eating in general will increase insulin, no, regardless of what you eat, even a snack, even if it's healthy. So we have a situation where this person's spiking insulin all day long. Our bodies are not designed to eat and graze all day long. So we want to switch to three meals a day with no snacks, okay? So that's the first step. Three meals a day, no snacking. The ability to go from one meal to the next without being hungry involves eating more fat, okay? So you have to add more fat to that meal. I'm gonna put some links down what to eat, but this, is, this video is not about what to eat, it's about the pattern. So you get three meals here, and then if you wanna take it to the next level and burn even more fat, you wanna do a pattern of 16 to eight. 16 hours of fasting, an eight hour window of eating, okay? So let's say you get up in the morning um, and you're not hungry. Well, don't eat, wait until you're hungry. The ideal situation is to go f four hours. When you wake up, four, at least four hours before you eat the first meal. So let's say you're, you, get, you eat at 10 o'clock, okay, in the morning. So, and you got up at six. So that means that your last meal is going to be at six o'clock at night. So you have an eight hour window. Where this, you might get up and eat at eight, then you might eat at eight at night, so you really haven't given enough fasting. A little bit in between, but not. The real power of intermittent fasting is through the night and in the morning. And actually, at, like at nighttime, when you're sleeping, and then in the morning. That's when you really have the uninterrupted, serious fat burning. Not necessarily as much between the meals, but it is a factor. So that's why we want 16 hours of fasting with this. So 
uh, we try to keep that window, and you have your three meals, okay? Does that make sense? Now, if we want to take it even further and really turn on the fat burning, we want to go to two meals, but we want a, a, a window of 20 hours of fasting. Do you know what that would do to your, your waistline, your stomach? So we go for 20 hours of fasting and only four hour window of eating. So we want, we want to get up and wait until, let's say, 12 o'clock or 1, have the first meal, and then have the next meal four hours later. So let's say you, get, you eat at 1, and then your next meal is at 5. Okay? So you have four hours there where you basically, you ate, but now you have 20 hours of serious fat burning. If we then add intermittent fat, uh, exercise to that, high-intensity interval training, then it's, it's over. That would be the icing on the cake. Well, maybe I shouldn't say icing on the cake. That's going to be the meat and potatoes. No, don't, talk, don't listen to me. Um, but the point is that it's going to take some time to transition over to these different levels. Okay? Don't think it happens in a, a minute. If you've destroyed your metabolism through dieting, or the HCG diet, which is 500 calories, or some other stress event, then what's going to happen, it's going to take some time to gradually kind of move over to the next one. Um, but you'll get comfortable. We don't want you to be headachy and have a lot of side effects between the meals, so you want to, over time, and this, this transition from here to here could take, you know, three weeks, but this one could take a month or two or even three months before you get to this point. Could take even longer. But then you're really uh, burning fat. Okay, so I just wanted to cover what the powerful, the power of this, what it is, and how you would do it starting here and gradually over here.